Lockjaw, also known as tetanus is a bacterial infection, that causes painful muscle spasms and can lead to death. The tetanus vaccine has made tetanus a preventable disease, thanks to its widespread use. Lockjaw has become very rare in the US, even so, many adults in the US need to be vaccinated against tetanus, because there is no cure, and 10% to 20% of victims will die. You cannot get tetanus from another person. You can get it through a cut or other wound. Tetanus bacteria are commonly present in soil, dust, and manure. The tetanus bacteria can infect a person even through a tiny scratch. But you are more likely to get tetanus through deep punctures from wounds, created by nails or knives. The bacteria travel via blood or nerves to the central nervous system. The tetanus vaccine should be given as soon as possible after a cut, to avoid contracting tetanus. In this video we are going to discuss symptoms of tetanus, and how and when should you receive the tetanus vaccine. Symptoms often begin around a week after infection. But this may range from 3 days to 3 weeks or even longer. The most common symptom is a stiff jaw. Symptoms of tetanus may include, headache, muscle stiffness, starting in the jaw, then the neck and the arms, legs, or abdomen, trouble swallowing, restlessness, and irritability, sweating and fever, palpitations and high blood pressure, muscle spasms in the face, causing a strange looking steady smile or grin. How and when should you receive the tetanus vaccine? You normally receive tetanus shots in the shoulder muscle, if you did not receive a tetanus vaccine as a child. You should start with a 3 dose primary series, with the first dose being a 3 in 1 combination called Tdap, that protects against tetanus, diphtheria and pertussis, whooping cough. The other two doses are a dual vaccine cover tetanus and diphtheria. You receive these vaccines over a period of 7 to 12 months. Vaccination against pertussis is especially important for those in direct contact with young infants or patients. After receiving the primary series, get a TD booster every 10 years. However you should not get a Tdap vaccine. If you have had a severe allergic reaction after a previous Tdap vaccine. You also should not get a Tdap vaccine if you have a history of coma, or seizures within a week following a previous Tdap vaccine. Talk to your doctor if you have a history of epilepsy, or other nervous system problems. Severe pain or swelling in the past after a previous tetanus vaccine, or a history of either Guillain-Barr syndrome, or chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy. It is okay to receive the tetanus vaccine during pregnancy. In fact, current guidelines recommend that all pregnant women receive a Tdap vaccine each time they are pregnant, specifically to prevent pertussis. Wait to get the Tdap vaccine, if you have moderate to severe acute illness, 